New Country 103.7 WXCY. We are live in Nashville for CMA Music Fest week. Thanks to our friends at B&B Seafood in Elkton, where it's okay to have crabs. They've got some of the best crabs all across the area. Welcome, Josh Turner. Thanks for sitting down with us, bud. Good to be here. Good to be here. I mean, good to be here. Good to be here. Anytime Josh is in the room, I feel like I have not gone through puberty, and my voice will never be that deep. When I grow up, can I have your voice? Uh, yeah. When I when I die, I'll leave it to you. Will you? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that is really nice I'll, of you. I'll donate my voice to you. Yeah. And uh, we're settling the estate of Josh Turner today. <laughs> this last item, his voice, goes yeah. to a guy named Brad Austin. Yeah. Well, that's very yeah. kind of I'm you. I'm an organ donor. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Well, I don't know. You may outlive me, so that could be a problem. You'll have to have a backup yeah, plan yeah, for that. Right, okay. I'll give, you, I'll give you half of, like, one vocal cord now. Okay. The other one later. So. Okay. Uh, we can like, work this out. Like on layaway. <laughs> well, Josh, it is so good to have you here because you're a guy who has been through CMA Music Fest slash Fanfare. This is not your first rodeo. Tell me first off, as a guy who's done literally everything here, what is your favorite part about it? What's the one thing that you kind of look forward to doing? Um, well, my favorite part about it is not necessarily like a specific event, but my favorite part about it is seeing uh, fans from all over the world come here because and I didn't really notice this until probably three or four years ago but uh, when I actually started getting to meet you know a lot of these fans that weren't from America you know it was uh, pretty wild you know I, I ran into fans of mine that came here just for me from France and Ireland and you know Belgium and Belize and the Philippines and Japan. I mean, it just it just went on and on. It's just kind of wild to see where all these people were from. But the ones that really shocked me were uh, these three girls that were of Aborigine descent from the outback of Australia. No kidding. And I, I was like, how did you even know of, like who I was? Like, right. You know, and they were like, oh man, you know, you're all over the radio down there. Because I guess they have radio in the outback of Australia. It's like, I, you know, it's just kind of I was kind of ignorant to that whole thing and so uh i mean the, you can spend an entire year traveling america and be busy oh yeah and that's just america yeah and, and now you know exactly. that doesn't even take into account all the places you can travel overseas. yeah so that that's the fascinating thing to me is that you know radio and technology and it's like the people that i'm reaching that i may never meet and it's uh it's pretty wild we had a uh, we had a fan um speaking of voice uh it was a guy who had like some life-threatening disease and he actually lost his voice and he was from where was he from uh norway i think he lived yeah. like up in the mountains of norway or something yes and came to the opry to visit me because that was like his dying wish was to meet me and wow i mean it's just it was just crazy you know people and i like, imagine you never i mean when you decided that you wanted to do music years ago and you started you probably you can't nobody can ever imagine that they would have that impact on somebody no, no. I mean, that's a humbling and amazing thing. Well, and I spoke to that yesterday. I, I was doing a Sirius XM thing. I was kind of telling, you know, the story behind Long Black Train and, and, and how that song was what really kind of helped me realize that, you know, I might can sit here and write a song, you know, by myself in, in my room by myself, you know, but uh, once it gets out there, you know, there's no telling who it's going to reach and there's yeah. no telling who it's going to affect and how it's going to affect them and... And so, uh, you know, music is powerful when you start, you know, throwing it out there and, and getting it out to the, to the masses. So. When you sit back and, and look back over your career, are there songs that uh, you really still just love to sing? I mean, you've probably sang Your Man 412,000 times by now, <laughs> but when you get up on stage and you're playing, is there a song that you're never, ever, ever going to give up singing because you just love it so much? Um... Yeah, and surprisingly, it's not even a song that I wrote. It, uh, it's uh, why don't we just dance? I mean, that that song is just it. It I do it at the top of my show because it just kind of you know takes all the nervousness out of it. You know, it calms my nerves and uh, it gets the fans kind of excited right from the get go. So. Well, let's do it again with Hometown Girl. We just started uh, playing that here in the last couple weeks with WXCY, so people can request that anytime, which I'm assuming you would like for them very much to do. Again, I'll sell that part for you. You, you stay okay. modest. All right. All right. You're a very humble man. Uh, yes. I don't want to ruin that for you. But Josh has got the new song out. And let's talk about connecting with you on the socials. Are you an Instagram guy? Are you a Snapchatter? There's all these ways now that people are trying to stay in communication. Technically, yes. Okay. 
Is this Fill one of those? Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. This is one of those hashtag Team Josh Turner. <laughs> but look, you're a busy guy, and some guys are not so good with a lot of that stuff. Like a lot of guys don't understand the Snapchat thing, or you know. Could I do it? Yes. Right. My, could I do it myself? Yes. Let me rephrase that. Right. But uh, I have chosen not to do it myself. Okay. From this point on, because uh, that's it, it's a source of stress. <clears throat> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I use understood. it. I use it to get the word out about things in my career, and beyond that, I don't pay attention any, anymore. So. You would just prefer people come and catch up with you in person. Absolutely, because they're not.